Hi, Martin here. Today I want to do a little experiment. I just recently got this fuel injector tester and cleaner and I thought it'd be really cool if we put a few injectors head to head. This is a great way to compare one injector to another. Which one flows better than the other? Which one's got a better spray pattern? Which one should give you the best uh, gas mileage and performance? All right, and what I got here are a couple Siemens injectors. These are uh, commonly found like in your 4.7 liter V8 engines. Uh, and they're probably in some other engines as well. The red band one being very popular in the 4.7. Then I've got a Denso injector commonly found in your four-cylinder Ecotec engines of GMs. Now, I've been running this Denso injector for quite some while, and it is a 12-hole injector. I like the way it works. But let's put it against how it flows in spray patterns against these Siemens, and maybe I'll come up with some other ones. All right, well, let's get started. Here would be a fun test. I took three of the ones I just cleaned from the Denzos that are running my 4.7. Here are some factory 4.7 uh, injectors and I just want to put them head to head. We're going to do a high speed test. As you can see this these first three did use more fuel so they do have a higher capacity but you got much better um, atomization so this is going to get you the best performance in gas mileage and you know these are better for uh, your high performance engines I mean when you start adding mods And they did use a little bit more fuel in the same amount of time. And these would be perfectly fine on a stock engine as well because it, the computer is going to uh, calibrate properly for the fuel that it requires. So it's not like it's going to run rich or anything with those injectors. If anything, it's going to get better gas mileage. Okay, what I got here now are the red band Siemens injectors, the 145s. These you're going to find very common in almost every 4.7 like prior to 2007. Uh, even in the HO engines as well. There's no difference between the HO and the non-HO engine as far as injectors go. Okay, we'll put these head to head with the Denzos that I've been running in my 4.7. Over here, are just 
I could also see some droplets when I was watching it, you know, I was watching it wash the side of the, the tube down. As you can see, as far as level goes, they're only, uh, well, that's uh, 10 milliliters difference. So this, again, the uh, Denso injectors are a great way to go. I mean, to an alternative to the factory Siemens ones. As far as the uh, Siemens injectors go, they actually did quite well considering they're only a two-hole injector. Um, I thought they did way better than the Siemens four-hole one. Um, I, I actually, when I found these, I suspected these were going to do, you know, better than the two-hole ones. But uh, you saw the video where it was more of a stream, uh, really uh, a very strong stream where it was disturbing the fill tube, you know, as it filled up, you could tell it was really just a, it's not atomizing the fuel nearly as good as these two hole ones go. But, but still the Denso ones, I think, are the way to go. I mean, they definitely still atomize the fuel better than these ones did. And it was just a little bit more fuel consumption. And again, the ECM is going to compensate for that. But if you're looking for more fuel for a higher performance engine, the Denzos are going to do that for you. Now, some of you may be saying, hey, Martin, how about the 12-hole Bosch injector, like commonly found in the EcoBoost Ford engines, like the 161s I got right here. Tell you what, I'll get a set of those cleaned up and get them on here, and we'll go head-to-head -head with the Bosch against the Denzos. All right, after giving them a good ultrasonic bath, I got all six of them set up here. I'm going to do is run them a little bit and uh, I'm going to take the best of three of them and put them up against the Denso Watt injectors. did really well. This one here was just a little bit behind the rest of them. I think I'm just going to grab these three right here. They all did, they did like equally well.
First I'm just going to run these just to get the air out of the line. tell you you can see that the Denzos did outperform as far as the amount of fuel that they were able to move in the same amount of time these look like they're exactly equal to the uh, the, the red band Siemens the 145s but uh, the atomization looked great between the two of them All right, what I'm going to try is a number six on this tester it's the accelerator As you can see, the Denzos did push more fuel than the Bosch ones did. I did like the way the atomization looked on the uh, Bosch ones. Uh, it looked really good, if not equal to the Denzos. Well, I got to say, after doing that test, that these green band ones, now you don't see these too often um, out there. You know, I, I go to pick apart all the time and I'm searching, and I was curious about these because they are a four hole, thought they'd perform better than the two hole red band ones, the 145s. Surprisingly, these do doggone well, even put up against the 12 hole injectors, right? And then when it comes to the 12 holes, I mean, the 161s are quite popular, these Bosch ones. And then I think I'm the kind of the guy that discovered these uh, Denso ones, you know, and started putting them on like our 4.7s and I really do like them and these you can find a ton of just if you go to a pick a part of your salvage yards and hit the compact Chevy aisle and you're gonna find them in all your Pontiac Solstice your Saturns your HHRs and there's a few others out there all in your 2.2 and 2.4 Ecotech motors all right I'm really glad I actually got this thing I can see comparisons, you know, from one injector to another. I can see that I got a match set of fuel injectors. So when I rebuild them, I know that each one of them is performing like it should. And it's just fun to see which injector does better than the other one, better atomization, all that. All right. Hope you enjoyed that video. And if there's another injector that you'd like me to put up against another injector, just hammer away at the keys down below and let me know and I will get it and we'll give it a shot in this thing. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. Please appreciate the thumbs up. That helps out the channel immensely. And if you want to help out the channel financially, there's Amazon links down below. Just do your shopping through one of those links. You don't have to necessarily buy what the link is about. 
Just do your Amazon shopping through that link. Thanks again for watching. And if you never subscribed to me before, I'd sure appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button right down there and a little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notifications of my next and upcoming videos. Thanks again. And we'll see you on the next one.